Brielle Sarlos. I am interviewing P. Sarlos, owner of Sarlos and Sons. Expert assignment number one, rules, rules, rules. What are 10 different rules you have to follow as a winemaker? Ooh, rules. Uh, number one, be clean. Number two, uh, be organized. Number three, care about every aspect of what you're doing. Number four, start to make a great wine, you need to start with a great grape. Number five, uh, farming is where winemaking begins. Number six, grape farming is where great wines begin. Number seven, uh, you can't care too much about everything. Number eight, be authentic. Be who you are and let your wine speak for themselves. Uh, number 10, or number nine, um, no one cares about your wines more than you do. And number 10, if you're going to do it, do it with all of your heart because people can tell the difference. Expert assignment number two, tell me how. What kind of education or training is needed to be a winemaker? Uh, you need to have a little bit of basic chemistry. Know that when you mix two things, a reaction takes place. You have to be a bit of an artist and realize that not everything is science. And uh, education, you can uh, go to college for it. You can learn on the job, which I'm a very big uh, proponent of because you can learn a lot of things in the books, but once you get out and actually experience it for yourself, you understand why they taught you that. How long does it take to become a winemaker? Uh, it takes your first bottle of wine. You can get a few grapes, add a little bit of yeast, uh, turn grape juice into wine, and you are a winemaker. It's just like being a golfer. You grab a golf club and go hit a golf ball, you're a golfer. Doesn't mean you're a very good one. Just means you are one. What schools teach winemaking? Uh, there's a few in California. There is Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. There is UC Davis. And the final one, uh, there's a lot of online education courses that you can take uh, and teach yourself. How much are you paid in California? Uh, to be a winemaker, you can be a cellar rat, which is basically you're doing all the grunt work, uh, filling barrels, cleaning stuff, scrubbing walls. Uh, that's about $12 an hour. And there's some people that make millions of dollars a year making wine. It all depends on how good at it you are and how much people are willing to pay for your wine. How much are you paid? How much is a winemaker paid in two different states? Uh, well, in Oregon, I think it's about the same. Uh, in Washington, I think it's about the same. Uh, everything about wine, which is very exciting, it's like being an artist. You are paid what people are willing to pay you for your art, for your product. So the sky is the limit, or you can make nothing. Either way. Which state has the most winemakers? California, absolutely. Assignment number three, find a job. <laughs> How much is your expert needed? How much is my expert needed? Not very much. Well, I'm just joking. Uh, if you live around here, it's needed. There's quite a few people. Uh, if you live in Arizona, there's only a few wineries. Um, it all depends on where you live. How, where is the job located? Uh, usually in a winery. <laughs> uh, Southern California, uh, Temecula, there is Santa Barbara, there's Paso Robles, there is Sonoma County, Napa, uh, Oregon, Washington. Uh, but mostly, uh, I like being here in my house. Expert assignment number four, language of the expert. What are some words that you use as a winemaker, and what are the definitions? Uh, the word bricks 
is a unit of measurement for sugar. Uh, we talk about pH and malolactic, which are types of acid. Um, fermentation is when yeast eats sugar and creates alcohol. Uh, there's a thief, which is a glass pipette, which is a little straw, basically, we put into a barrel so we can steal wine out of the barrel, so it's called the thief. Um, and then uh, the hole on a barrel is called a bunghole, which I think is pretty funny. Thank you.